Hi friends, in this video we will be showing you how to create a custom WordPress theme for your website. And you can see this is our default WordPress website and you can see a lot of free themes are available. Like this you can create your own theme with your own name and your own description and all the details of your company name etc. You can create this theme without any programming knowledge or technical knowledge. So this is the theme which we are created and we are just going to upload our theme on our default WordPress website. So this theme we are going to upload on our website and you can create install now. Once the theme is installed you can click on activate and you can see our theme is activated on your website and if you click on the theme details you can see the theme details here the name of the theme and the order and the description etc you can see here you can see the version name number etc the same way you can create your own theme under your name so we can go to the video and we can check how we can create this theme. So this is the website which we are created with our theme. So this is a complete e-commerce website. We are created with our theme. So you don't need to buy any extra paid theme. So you can create your, uh, theme, uh, your website like this. So this have a beautiful show page a customer can directly buy products from our website and if they click on proceed to checkout it will take them to the billing page and they can complete the checkout so to create this theme so and all the details we can check on the video we can go to the video and check how we can create our own theme so go to chat gpt and you can write a prompt like this as you are seeing in the video you can create your own name your own other name and you can add this much files the prompt i will give on the description box below you can just copy and paste it on your chat gpt okay once the chat gpt will generate all the required codes and files you can go to your wordpress control panel and go to your theme file directory and you can see all your theme files here so here you are going to create a new directory you can create your theme name and just click on create and this folder is created now now you can just add a file name style.css and go to chat gpt and copy that particular code from the chat gpt once the file is copied from the chat gpt just paste it on your style.css file and save like this you can copy and you can just copy the index.php name file name and you can just paste it there and click on create so this file is created and you can paste the complete code from chat gpt and paste it on the index.php file now click on save like this you can copy all the file names and the codes from chat gpt and paste it on your website it's super easy you can just click on new file and you can paste the file name there and you can just create and copy that particular code then you can paste it on that file it's super easy like this you can copy the footer.php all the files you can just create like this copy and paste it on the files now create page.php
you can copy all the files from gpt and you can also you have to upload a screenshot for your theme so you can create a screenshot you can upload a screenshot later or if you have a screenshot of your website you can just upload that also so you can just create a screenshot so functions.php you can upload it in a new folder like inc and you can paste it there and click on create now you have to add an image that represent your theme in the wordpress admin dashboard so you can upload a screenshot.png file so you can just create a screenshot.png file and upload it or plugin directory now come to your wordpress theme directory and you can see our new theme is created and you can see all the details which we added now and it's simple as that okay so now we can customize and we can do all the things for this theme so first you have to activate the theme once the theme is activated on your wordpress website you can go to the plugin settings click on add new and you can see your website theme is changed now and you can see this is the new theme which we added now we can customize it now we can close all other tabs we, we don't need now all these things okay guys now go to the plugin settings and you can install elementor and the elementor header and footer builder this are our free plugins we are using you can just install it and we can activate it later so you can install this disable gutenberg plugin once you install this plugin you can also install another plugin starter templates so this you can also install this free plugin all the plugins we are used on this website is free totally free so once you in install all the required plugins you can go to the installed plugins area and you can see all the plugins which we are installed here you can just select all the plugins and click on activate and select bulk action click on activate once the plugin is activated just close this pop-up for elementor we don't need this okay just close all these things now go to the plugin settings and click on starter templates and here you can see the library option click on the see library option and now here you can select the page builder option you can choose elementor page builder and it will start a new window so from this list you can just upload a template from the library this have free and premium templates so you can use free templates if you want you can purchase premium templates so there are a lot of free templates available good templates available so you can choose any of this free theme sorry the free templates you can just import for our website if you want you can upload a logo for that and click on skip and continue and here you can change the basic color font font size etc and you can add your name and all the details and you can untick the uh, astra theme option because we are using our own theme so we don't need any other themes so you can select or tick these options according to your preference and you can click on submit okay once the template is imported you can see a message like this on your website screen now you can go to the appearance and you can see 
the theme file editor here you need to add a code on your uh, page.php file a single piece of code you can get it from the description box i will add it on the description box you can just get it from there you can just add it and you can update your file once you added add that file sorry that code you can go to your website and you can see the website so guys now go to this website and you can free download header and footer for free so you can go to the website and you can just download for free header all these headers are free you can just download any free header from this list if you don't have any account you can just create an account with them with your google or facebook account and you can download the header here you can click on download now option and you can once the file is downloaded just extract it and you can just unzip and you can unzip the dot json file and like this you can also download the footer section also for your website once you downloaded that file you can also extract that and you can just download and extract your footer file to your computer you can extract your files to your computer after that you can go to the elementor header and footer builder section click on there and click on add new and you can skip this option here you can give a header name and the select select option section you can select header and select for the entire website and user ro roles for all and click on publish once the header is published you can edit with elementor so click on edit with elementor option you can click on the edit with elementor option now just close this window and you can just drag a widget here and click on my template section and you can upload it click on the upload icon and you can import template to your library so you can upload the header template which we are downloaded and you can click on continue you can click on enable and import once the template is imported you can see here you can click on insert option and you can see your header is imported and click on update and the same way you can go to your website and you can just refresh and you can see your header is live on your website the same way go to the header footer section and we can create a footer also so just click on add new and you can give a footer name here give a footer name then type of templates you can select footer and display entire website user role for all and click on publish and you can also click on edit with elementor click on edit with elementor now just drag a widget here click on my templates and you can click on upload option and you can upload the footer template and you can insert the footer template here 
once the footer template is insert you can just edit the template you can add or you can delete the unwanted items and you can change the textures demo content you can change all these things and click on update and just refresh your website and you can see your footer now click on the elementor settings area as you are seeing in the video just click on the site settings and you can see the layout option click on the layout option and here you can see the default page layout choose it as elementor full width and you can update it okay guys now we almost created our theme to download your theme go to your control panel and file manager from there you can download your theme in a zip format and you can upload it on any other website you are using this theme thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel